Epidemic Sound have just released a mobile app and I'm going to be looking into that uh, right now to show you how you can use it to uh, not only curate your uh, musical content for your content creation and your different playlists and things like that, uh, but you can also use it just to actually listen to the uh, vast array of music that is available through Epidemic Sound. So uh, let's just get straight on into it, shall we? This is what the app looks like. Um, it starts with this sort of discovery page where it's going to be uh, scrolling through a sort of carousel, if you like, of uh, different playlists, so new releases latest tracks uh, now trending things like that and a uh, staff picks as well um, so you can just click on any one of these uh, to go straight into the latest tracks that have been added uh, there is just a play button up at the top so it's very similar to any sort of music player that you'd have on your mobile device uh, this is our iOS obviously that I'm using it on uh, and uh, you can just click on play from there so you could literally just come and uh, listen through to uh, various different playlists things like that if you see something that you're interested in uh, you can just come and tap on uh, whatever it happens to be click on the three little dots next to the name of the track here you have the option to either like the track or you can uh, download the track as well from there and you can also add it to a playlist either an existing playlist or you can just come in and create an entirely new playlist from there as well so uh, I'll just press the pause button and uh, come back to that main screen. So that is basically what you're going to see right at the top. But if we scroll down a little bit further, um, you're going to see more of what you like, which is based on previous uh, downloads that you've had. Obviously, if you are an Epidemic user, this will look uh, very similar to uh, the web interface uh, because it is basically the same sort of groupings of things so we've got different curated themes either epidemic essentials greatest hits uh, ads promos and trailers uh, by the way that's uh, one thing that i think a lot of people uh, maybe don't realize is if you have the right subscription plan on epidemic you can actually use all of the content from epidemic on full on you know ads on either facebook social media marketing that sort of stuff uh, but also with the highest level uh, of uh, of plan then you can also use them in tv ads and things like that so really it, it is a complete resource for all of your musical needs <laughs> and sound effects uh, i don't really use a lot of music in case you hadn't noticed on my channel uh, but nevertheless there is sort of intro music outro music at various different times so we've got to be uh, secure about these things and making sure that we are on the right side of any copyright claims unfortunately with epidemic uh, you don't really get copyright claims because you just go in and whitelist your channels that you're going to be using the music on and then that's it you don't have to don't have to worry about these things i did have a bit of an experience with adobe stock using their service where the tracks i would still have to go in and enter license details for every time i use the track even though i had the right to use it it was just not anywhere near as uh, seamless as using epidemic so uh, definitely highly recommend that so these are the curated themes as i said very similar to the uh, web interface uh, you've got different genres as well so they split the music by genre here as well once again you just click on any one of these ones to go into the the, uh, track list you can scroll down through the track list click on any one of these to pay play uh, this is going to be very random whatever i happen to be pressing on at the moment <laughs> uh, but we'll, let's just pause that one coming back out again we've also got different moods so they uh, split the tracks in epidemic into not just the different genre the sort of musical style uh, but also the mood so you know whether it's upbeat uh, <laughs> laid back quirky uh, running relaxing all of those sorts of things suspense i need more suspense on my channel i think don't i <laughs> um, and then down here we've got featured playlists so these are going to be the ones that we've just seen up at the top actually the staff picks latest tracks now trending uh, and then also one there which is your own liked sound so all the tracks that you've actually liked yourself um, down at the bottom you've uh, got the epidemic logo just down there on the bottom uh, left hand side that's the one that we're in at the moment if I click on the little magnifying glass uh, that obviously is search uh, and so here just like in epidemic on the web you can now search for different tracks and you can search by genre by mood uh, or by theme once again uh, searching into those and once you go into something so if I just tap on the first one for example um, then there are the same sort of filters so we can click on that little uh, sort and filter button uh, and then we can do sorting by uh, various different things the newest or the most popular we can also filter by genre you can do filter by mood and so on so again really just mirroring what we've got on the uh, website um, so that is the search and then you've got this one that looks like the little bookmark that is basically for all of your saved searches and uh, uh, playlists and things like that uh, so here you've got three different playlists 
uh, and you can uh, sorry I've got three different playlists <laughs> at the moment one of them is just liked sounds that's one of them that I just liked earlier uh, and then we've got the different playlists there so uh, I don't do a huge amount of curation of music because as I've said I don't really use a huge amount on my channel but if you are someone who's building sort of you know lots of background tracks and things like that to use in your live streams perhaps uh, then having these different curated lists are a really great way to do that and as I say uh, with so much music on there then I can now see how you would uh, definitely want to perhaps use this to create you know sort of background music maybe working music maybe tracks that you just want to listen to and it does actually become uh, a mobile music player as well so uh, that is what the app looks like and just in case uh, you are not totally aware yet <laughs> then epidemic sound is a resource for uh Get thousands of tracks across all different genres and moods and various different things like that and I've, as I've said you can use them not just on your content channels so on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, uh, all of the places uh, and you can whitelist those channels so that you're free to use them uh, wherever you want. Uh, however much you want as well there's no limit on the usage um, but as I say you can also use them uh, with the right licensing you can or the right subscription I should say you could also use them in ads on Facebook and marketing campaigns uh, even up to uh, TV ads as well if you have the uh, the right uh, subscription level so uh, take one tech.io slash epidemic I highly recommend it uh, I went down the uh, the Adobe stock route because I already had an existing Adobe stock license and figured well I can use some of the uh, the music that I get included in that uh, it just ended up being too much uh, hassle and too much time and uh, involved in actually entering those license no numbers and codes in all of the time so uh, epidemic for the low monthly fee that it is is highly worthwhile if you're doing anything related to content creation I, uh, I highly recommend it so uh, the mobile app is really a great addition to it now what I'll do is I'll leave a link to some other uh, YouTube content creation tools over in my YouTube playlist over on the right hand side so uh, I'll see you in those videos.